Hi friends, welcome to today's video. We're going to be playing with some textures, specifically with uh, Crackle Paste, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. Um, crackle Paste is a material or medium that is designed to produce specific kind of texture. Um, it looks like dry soil. You know, when you get uh, cracked dry soil, that's what it reminds me of. That is the aspect that it has. And uh, I did this little painting in advance. We're going to be applying the crackle paste in the white areas that I have marked down. And for today's video, I want to show you how to control the application of the paste to achieve sharp and clean edges. Okay? And in order for you to be able to do that, you have to mask. You have to use the artist's or masking tape. Um, which is what I used for the lines and then I created cardboard templates for the round parts now bear in mind that cardboard templates I do not recommend if you work with the fluid mediums it works in this case because we're literally working with the paste it's not gonna sneak underneath the cardboard and once I have it all masked I add a layer of um, glass glass medium you can add some clear gesso it does two things it, it makes it a lot easier for the paste to bond to the surface and it also creates a barrier between the medium and the masking tape so it it helps with creating that crisp edge that we're going for in this video and you want to lift uh, the tape immediately after you apply the um, the crackle paste don't let it dry <laughs> otherwise you probably I don't I don't even know what would happen actually I should probably make a test but just remove it immediately and as you can see we can do a very controlled application now what you cannot control is the cracks that are going to form that is 100% unpredictable there is a couple things that you can foresee you know in advance and that is that the cracks will vary depending on how thick you apply the paste it is recommended uh, as per the instructions um, that you apply it no thinner than 1.6 uh, I believe 1.6 millimeters okay um, and from that point on it the thicker, basically, um, the deeper those fissures, those cracks are going to be. Okay. You can also tint it. You can use some paint to add color, which is what I have been doing here. I'm using the Liquitex acrylic inks. I would recommend to use fluid paint for this one, but you can certainly use heavy body as well. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is that the ratio that's recommended, it's no more than 20% pain. So that's that's the one thing. Otherwise, you probably won't be able to achieve the crack uh, effect. Um, what else? For my next video, we're going to be just something, doing something completely different. Uh, we're going to be basically just spreading it all over and then just painting over it, creating something from there there are endless ways that you can use this medium you can combine this medium with other art mediums to achieve different textures within the same piece now something that's extremely important and it's also advice by the brand it is it's not to um, speed up the drying process so don't use a heat gun or a blow dryer like I do sometimes for this one. Like I actually, I wouldn't recommend to use a blow dryer for any mediums other than paint. Um, so I let it curate or dry for three days and voila. I was very happy with the results. Uh, it's, it is very, very interesting. And... Um, 
awesome. Yeah, I did the recommended waiting time uh, on the label is three days, and I follow that strictly. <laughs> I didn't break the rules this time. And what I did uh, was um, once it was all dried and the cracks were showing and all, I added a layer of gel medium over it. You could also add some clear gesso. Again, this part is optional. I just feel that it's going to prevent it uh, even further from chipping off, you know, the surface. But again, it's optional. You can just go ahead and paint over it, which is what I'm going to be doing after. And in this part, you can get creative, you know, and uh, add uh, different layers of colors. Um, I have seen beautiful work done um, by using the, we using crackle paste on it. What I'm doing here is I'm adding um, a wash of uh, burnt uh, sienna. And then I'm lifting off the, uh, I lift off the excess with uh, damp uh, paper towel. And then I'm adding some other colors over it. And it sort of creates that um, distressed look, like an old distressed look. I was very happy with some of the things that happened here. Uh, my favorite of the two was the, this one, the darker one. Um, the other one, the yellow one at the end, I decided to tone down the yellow and um, I wasn't too happy with the result and it was meant for this tutorial so I didn't really I, it didn't really defeat the purpose of the video but I'm go probably going to go back to that yellow one and uh, work some more of it because at the very end it didn't feel like it like it was complete it felt like it needed you see i'm trying to that i did there i that was probably a bad decision <laughs> but it can be fixed so i'll probably work a little on that one tomorrow just to make it nicer you know it was still interesting it, it was still very very interesting both of them when you look closely there's all kinds of cool things happening in there um, so it's definitely a medium that's a lot of fun to play with and um, for creating abstract art or whatnot. <laughs> and my next video, I'm gonna show you more ways to play with this. And uh, also, I'm gonna work a little bit on that yellow one because eh, I was. Mm, it just needs more. It just needs more. But that was it for today. I hope that this video was interesting to my new subscribers. Welcome. I'm very happy to have you. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.